Hello beautiful people. Good morning from California. I think it's a great day for cooking outdoor. Let's see. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what is in there. What? Luxury Asian style fish. I'm gonna cook a Filipino national fish. It's called bangos. You know, when I used to live in the Philippines, I used to eat that almost every day. And this is really a very good and tasty fish. So I'm gonna make that fusion with Indian style, which means I'm gonna use cumin, chili powder, turmeric, and ginger garlic paste. I'm gonna marinate that. Now you're gonna mix it up, put some oil on it. Salt, sea salt. and pat it over this fish. This turmeric, chili powder, you don't want to touch it with your bare hand. I know a lot of people do it. I don't want my fingernails as a yellow color, okay? I'm gonna sleet it a little bit, make it something nice. So when I fry it, it will be really look good. And put this marination on it. This is the best way. I'm going to make sure that between the slit, the marination goes in. If you don't like fish because it's a smell, but if you put this kind of marination, let me tell you, you're going to start loving this fish because this is the way kill the fish smell. Now, I'm not going to take the heads off. Asian people love the fish with the head, eat the head. I know that uh, in America people don't like fish because they don't want fishes looking at them. But you know, you don't scare, this is already dead. Leave it here for about maybe 10 minutes. This is a vegetable that I'm gonna cook on the side with this fry fish. Uh, this is called cancon. Not Cancun in Mexico, okay? It's called Cancun. It is basically grows in Asia, Malaysia, Indonesia, Bangladesh, every places. This is very good and very good for your health. And I'm gonna fry it with uh, onion, garlic, dry red chili. This um, vegetable basically, you don't have to really chop so smaller piece because they're gonna be shrink when you cook. Buy some onions, put this, uh, dry chili. I'm going to break it up. Don't worry, it's not going to be so hot. Put this in, onions, and I'm going to wear something to protect my clothes. Let it toast a little bit. When the garlic is coming a little bit brown, this is the time we're going to put the cancon inside. When you wash your fish, you make sure you uh, pat dry with towel, uh, I mean the paper towel. Awesome. I'm gonna try one of this stem and see if it is soft. Oh yeah, I think it's done. Another four or five minutes. Fried rice, because with fried fish, I want to serve with the rice, garlic fried rice. And this is very famous in the uh, Philippines. So when the garlic turn golden brown, this is the time I'm gonna go ahead and toss my rice in there. Now, as you know that there's a many different way you can make fried rice, but this is very simple. In the Philippines, this is actually a morning breakfast. They eat garlic fried rice. In many countries, maybe say, hey, garlic? Oh no, the garlic smell. No, actually, it is tasty. You see smoke coming out? Any fried rice, you have to cook the rice first, then you make a fried rice. It's not like you put the rice directly without cook and it will be automatically fried rice. Pepper on it. Uh, 
I put some salt. Uh, when you're making a fried rice, usually I put it in a medium heat and make sure there's no lump. If the lump is there, try to break it up. Well, it sounds like my one doesn't have a lump that much. Bangus fish fried, Indian style. Kankon, garlic fried rice. Thai chili if you want extra spices. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's good. But you know what? This fish could have a lot of bones, a lot of spine in it. If you know how to eat fish, then you'll be okay. But if you don't know, you need to make sure that every bite you do, you check the fish first before you put it in your mouth. Because you don't want that those bones stuck in your throat. The Thai chili. Hmm. Oh boy. Thai chili is so hot, man. I'm almost crying. So I'm gonna put sunglasses. You don't see me, I'm crying. But I like to dance. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video. I really appreciate that. Uh, and before I leave, I want to let you know that life is beautiful. So for now, I want to say goodbye and I'll see you in my next video.